This part of the test will measure your speaking ability. It will last around 20 to 30 minutes. You will answer four questions. The first question will be about a familiar topic. The other three will be about short conversations, lectures, and reading passages. You can read and hear the lectures and paragraphs only once. You will see the time available for preparing the responses as well as the time to give your response on the bottom side of the screen. You have to stay within those time limits. Speaking Task 1 You will be asked a question about a familiar topic. You will then have 15 seconds to prepare your response, and 45 seconds to speak. Talk about your favorite place to go on holidays when you were a child. Why did you enjoy it? Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. Speaking Task 2 You will read a short paragraph and then listen to a conversation between two people. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the conversation between two people. Did you read that email from the faculty? Yes, all of us who took marketing got it. What do you make of it? To be honest, I was really upset. I think they are taking a laugh at us with those statements. They will actually do nothing. What do you mean? I actually don't know what the problem is. That is because you don't attend the classes. The problem was that we didn't get a lesson on the last chapter of the book. It is especially hard, but the professor still put it in the exam. I mean, that is preposterous. How could she do that? She didn't introduce us to some of the difficult concepts from it, and we were forced to learn about them ourselves. Okay, I see that. But at least the faculty will do something about it. Oh, no, they won't. They will do nothing to help us who took the course this semester. And as far as helping the other students that will take the course, the professor was only notified that we complained. 
So those are all the steps that they will take when it comes to the so-called restructuring. Do you really think she will change nothing? I mean, this is her career we're talking about. I think the professor will be more careful in the future. And she only made this one mistake, right? Well, no. This was her biggest mistake, but she was a bit disorganized during the lessons. She marked in her notes where we were all sitting so that she could give us points for participation. We thought it was fine until she called us by wrong names. And when we made her aware of this, she said it was our fault because we were sitting in different places, which was not true. That was not nice of her. How did you deal with that situation? What happened? It ended up all right. We got our participation points, but it was still quite unpleasant. I think so too. I am glad I didn't come to the lessons. The female student talks about the problems she had during her marketing course. What issues did she have while taking this course? Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. Speaking task 3. You will read a short paragraph about an academic topic then listen to a lecture about it. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the lecture. Prejudice is based on factors like sex, race, age, sexual orientation, nationality, socioeconomic status, and religion. Some of the prominent types are sexism, classism, nationalism, and racism. The ability to categorize people and the environment around us 
was and is important for us. It helps us create a simple map which we can navigate the world. We receive an enormous amount of information every day, so this process is really useful for making it easy on us to analyze it. Even though it's beneficial, this process in some cases leads to mistakes. Prejudice is just one of those mistakes that happens when we quickly try to organize the world around us in neat packages. Whatever the case, prejudice is detrimental and we need to work on its limitation and elimination. In order to do this, we could be more empathetic. Trying to feel the emotions of another leads to a more intuitive understanding, which drastically reduces prejudice. Another thing to do is to raise awareness about the existing prejudices in the society. Many people possibly don't know what is happening in the lives of their fellow human beings. So giving them this knowledge assists in making a positive change. The professor talks about prejudice, explain the mental mechanism that leads to prejudice. Include points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. You will listen to a lecture about an academic topic. After, you will get a question about what you heard. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. Now listen to the lecture. The Voyage of the Beagle is one of the most important voyages in the history of mankind. It started in 1831. Darwin set sail on a scientific expedition on a ship called the Beagle. He was the naturalist on the voyage. It was his job to collect rock, plant, and animal specimens every time the ship docked. The Beagle circumnavigated the world. It visited South America, the Pacific Islands, Australia, and Africa. The voyage lasted five years, and by the end of it, Darwin was a celebrated naturalist. The evolution theory that he developed as a result of this voyage changed drastically the way we look at our world. Darwin came back with two major understandings. The first one was that the organisms on Earth changed over a long period of time and the second was that those organisms change due to natural selection. When it comes to change over time, he dug up fossils of extinct animals such as the large sloth. This and other discoveries suggest that living creatures look more differently in the past. 
that right now we are merely observing our biosphere at a certain limited point in time. The most famous part of his voyage was when he arrived on the Galapagos Islands. These islands had different environments and he discovered that the same animals adapted differently to those different circumstances. One prominent example of this were the tortoises. They developed shells which were particular to the islands they came from. Even the locals were able to know on which island they were by looking at the shape of the tortoise's shells. By observing these changes, Darwin was able to conclude that different environments shape us in different ways. In other words, the nature chooses who survives and whose offsprings continue on. Explain the two main understandings that Darwin came back with from his voyage. Use the points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.